This video is for providing an operation and installation for the ElectroClean system, the ballast water management system developed by TechRoss. ECS is one of the most effective disinfection systems using electrolysis. ECS treats one time at ballasting with certainty using a simple composition of equipment ECU, ANU, PDE, TSU. ECU is the main equipment for disinfection of ballast water. ANU is designed to neutralize any remaining residual TRO prior to discharge. It is used during deballasting and stripping only. PDE supplies the necessary current to the chamber after converting 440 volts AC to DC, depending upon the salinity of the water, enabling operational controls and facilitating ECS electrolysis. TSU measures TRO concentrations during ballasting and debelasting to maintain the proper TRO concentration levels for efficacy disinfection and neutralization. FMU is installed in between the ballast pump and the inlet of ECU. It monitors operation of the ballast pumps and assists in the proper functioning of ECS during ballasting. T-strainer helps to protect ECU from large sediment ensuring effective and efficient operation of ECS. As the ballast water flows in the vessel, ECU is receiving the required current and voltage from the rectifier, enabling them to electrolyze the ballast water and kill microorganisms by electrochemical actions. The electric energy and the production of oxidants such as hydroxyl radical and hypobromite which can oxidize cell membranes and cell walls to disinfect organisms. After treatment, the treated ballast water is stored in the ballast tank during the voyage. During this period, TRO, the residual hypochlorate, remains active in the ballast tank, preventing any regrowth of microorganisms for up to 30 days after treatment. ECS does not need to retreat during deballasting. Before discharging the treated ballast water from the ballast tank, TCU examines the TRO concentration. ANU doses sodium thiosulfate to reduce TRO value down to 0.1 ppm before discharge. The neutralized water no more needs to treat. TechCross provides various installation solutions for each project to meet the needs of the shipyards and the ship owners. This is one of the general installation references on tanker. If there is no pump room but submerged ballast pump, you can make safety room on deck. Explosion proof type ECU and other equipments are installed in this room with skid mount type. The other non-explosive equipment's in engine room for aft peak tanks. If your vessel has both pump room and engine room, you can install explosion-proof type ECU for ballast water in pump room and non-explosive ECU for aft peak tanks in engine room. At this time, electronic sub-assemblies are in on-deck or foam room. Some tankers which have no pump room but submerged ballast pump can install the non-explosive ECU in engine room with setting an additional ballast pump. 
This design is possible because ECS does not require retreatment at discharging. Even though the additional will need to be added in the engine room, this is a much more economical solution.